Now I would like to invite Michelle Danino, who is a Padma Shri awardee himself and a visiting professor at IIT Gandhinagar to address the gathering. We've heard already quite a lot about Professor Sudhir Jain's qualities. Uh, what struck me as soon as I met him and uh, in the subsequent meetings was basically his value system. And uh, I think words we've all were heard from his mouth, words like integrity, dignity, ethics, passion, commitment, hard work, sacrifice, and a lot more. And all of that together constitutes his value system. And that is what I think has been eliciting our admiration for his, not only his accomplishments, but his whole character. And this is what has shaped this institute eventually. I should add one, which is a very rare combination of compassion and ruthlessness. I have not seen this in many people, maybe in none. Compassion and ruthlessness usually do not go together, and yet he has harmonized them very well. Uh, when I met him first in August 2011, um, after a brief stay at IIT Kanpur, I was invited him here to give some lectures, and uh, there were an, a few other things which struck me. One was a tremendous hunger, a hunger for innovation. The first question, he, he, well, one thing he told me is that, you see, in this institute, we are going to produce engineers by default. That's what we have to do, that's what we are going to do. But what else can we do? What else can we do that other institutions are not doing? That was probably the first question he asked me. And that was a question nobody has asked me. And I had met a few people here and there. And then he said, can we do something for endangered disciplines? These two words again struck me. Endangered disciplines. So I came up with some replies, but that's not the, the place to dilate upon that. Uh, I understood I had in front of me someone with a vision and a keenness to innovate, to do something different. And this is something which all of us have experienced later on. The second thing was, nothing is impossible. And one thing which, where I have seen Professor Sudhir Jain irritated is when somebody comes to him and says, so we can't do this, not possible, or it won't be possible within this time, or you know, there's this obstacle, that objection, this rule, etc. And that does irritate him. Uh, so I have seen him, in my own case, you know, he asked me again in that first meeting, after a little while he said, can you shift to Ahmedabad because our campus was there? And I was trying to find excuses. I was not ready. There were certain things in my own life. And uh, you know, I came up with, of course, very silly excuses. I said, you know, I have a big library back home. So he said, we'll shift your library. I said, that won't be easy. He said, we'll replicate it. And it went on like this. So then I understood that, again, I had somebody in front of me who is not going to take any impossibility into account. Uh, the third thing is an extreme care for details because there are people with a vision. That's not unusual. But having the care for detail to implement that vision uh, is not so common. And uh, in the course of time, and we have all experienced this, you know, his uh, uncanny ability to observe things, people uh, from workers in the, in, in the academic field or in the waste segregation department, or this professor or that student, amazing eye for details, and also amazing care in the sense that, for example, he has always wanted, and he told me many times, you know, I want every visitor to IIT Gandhinaga to go back with a good memory. What can we do to enhance the experience, to make sure they're well treated, to take care of every detail of their hospitality, and so on. So I could go on, but in the end, my only observation is about Gratitude, my own gratitude for having met such a person, worked with him, learned so much. I don't think there's a single meeting, either one-to-one -one or a, a, you know, meeting with, with other faculty or a senate meeting or whatever it is, where I have not learned something from him. I have come to see him as a karma yogi in my own value system. Karma yogi should have many qualities, but one of them is yogaha karmasu kaushalam. Yoga is skill in works. This is in the Bhagavad Gita. 
And I think Professor Sudhir Jain is an almost perfect embodiment of that. I say almost because we have to keep something for the future. Thank you very much, Professor Sudhir Jain.